chills. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Joe Gonzalez of Nerdy Reactor. In the video you just saw me jump to was Doorways, The Underworld, the third chapter in the Doorway series. You play as Thomas Foster, a Doorways agent in search of one of four psychopaths. In this chapter, you're after Katerina Stein, aka The Surgeon. As you journey through her mind, you come across the true intentions that she was trying to create, and you also even come across the crazed monsters that she put together from each of one of her victims. Doorways is a first-person survivor horror and is best played with headphones, so let's go ahead and jump in. Doorways is a first-person survivor horror game that has you journey through the mind of a psychopath. As you journey on, you go deeper and deeper of the mind of the surgeon and you come across firsthand with the creatures that she ended up creating. Broken down into four stages, the first one you encounter is the mines. The second one you encounter is the sewers, which is more complex than the mines, but also just as deadly. The sewers is riddled with many turns and dead ends, but also many places to hide in case you need to. No survivor horror game can be complete without the Eerie Hospital, which is the third that you'll encounter in Doorways. The hospital is easily the freakiest of all the stages in Doorways, with perfectly timed sound effects that will cause goosebumps while you're playing. Along with the hospital comes the laboratory, where the surgeon experiments all her victims. The final stage is the basement which is the largest of the four in doorways. Due to its size, it's very easy to get lost in the basement, which is why the second half of the stage comes with a map. The first thing you'll notice about doorways is the simplicity of the game. While you're playing, you have no weapons, in which all you need to do is solve puzzles, like find the right key to proceed, or in some cases find the right object. Another puzzle element is finding the right switch to open the doors or proceed. As previously mentioned, since the basement is very large and easy to get lost, sometimes this can prove to be a tedious task. What is this place? Don't be afraid to wander around since each path can just add to the experience of the game. Along with the creepy atmosphere, Doorways tries to scare you at every opportunity that it gets. As if the levels weren't creepy enough, sometimes they'll throw something your way just to catch you off guard. Sometimes the game will just tell you where the next scare will be, but that doesn't mean it isn't creepy. You must proceed with caution with each boss encounter. With no way of defending yourself or attacking the boss, the only option left is to run or hide. The boss encounter is activated as you proceed through each level. Along the way you'll find clues which indicate which boss you'll be facing. But regardless, once the boss appears, you must avoid it no matter what. Each boss encounter is the same. You must wait until the boss has passed before you can proceed. But once you do proceed, you run and you do not stop no matter what. This adds a suspense to doorways given that as you're running, 
You have no idea which way you'll go. With each boss encounter, you also run much faster than normal, making it much easier to miss a turn. Because one wrong move, and you're done. Doorways test your sanity as you travel on with each chilling scene after another. The atmosphere really sets the tone to the point where you start to jump at every sound you hear. Though the puzzles can end up being repetitive and long, doorways will keep you on your toes. Do you have what it takes to push through? For horror fans, it's a must. And as with most horror survivor games, Doorways is best played at night with the lights off. Try not to get scared too much though. Even though this chapter is short, it's just a small piece of a trilogy of chapters right now in Doorways. The ending may leave you wanting more, but that's for chapter 4 to conclude the series. All in all, I give Doorways 3 out of 5 stars. It definitely has its moments where it does make you jump and the sound effects are well placed to keep you on your toes. If you're a true horror fan, this is definitely a game you should look into. And once you're done with chapter 3, you're going to be begging for chapter 4. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out nerdreactor.com and subscribe to all our videos at youtube.com slash nerdreactor. Thank you.